Uh, what's your take on dinosaurs, real or fake? I might ring up about this. Well, Stallion, I heard recently that dinosaurs never existed. Now, I think, what about the one-eyed dinosaur? The Jethinkisaurus? You know, that's the thing. So we don't know. But I wouldn't mind taking some calls on that. Dinky do, Scotty, dinky do. Oh. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, it's Scotty, it's Pablo. Pablo, how lovely to hear you. Now, Pablo, are you uh, thinking the dinosaurs are real or fake? Uh, I think the fake, Scotty. Right. Uh, I'll tell you why. Uh, only because when we were kids growing up in the 90s, in school, we talk about the dinosaurs, you'd see the figures in all the shop, like shop outlets to buy, you'd see Jurassic Park and films and things like that. But slowly, all that just vanished. Um, as my children went into school and started developing, they didn't talk about the dinosaurs anymore. But when I draw the conclusion to why they're fake, is basically, they've got to tell us that some mythological creature lived on this planet. For the really simple reason, we wouldn't question things like aliens, Bigfoot, or things like that. Because why would they lie to us if they told us about dinosaurs and a massive interest like uh, ufology, uh, Bigfoot, and seen a lot of things. And they've not even got a full skeleton to any of these dinosaurs. Well, I was going to say, what about the Natural History oh. Museums where they've got the skeletons? Yeah, that's right, but we haven't got the full skeleton of the dinosaur. We've got bits and pieces, bits and pieces, and they've crafted it bit by bit, like a jigsaw, put it together. But there's no full dinosaur in the museum. But have they not all been tested for age and things like that? Well, I'm not too clued up on that side of things. All in all, to this day, there's not a full skeleton of any dinosaur. And the word is, it's more likely there were dragons than dinosaurs. If you look at the Welsh dragon, it's on a flag. You tell me any country that has a dinosaur on it, and I'll, I'll buy it. But not well, that look, point. Luke's, you talk about us, certain... Luke's saying they've got loads of skeletons. He's just popped up on the TikTok and he said, they've got loads of skeletons. Uh, I think there's a lot of skeleton in his closet now. So I'm to, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, they did have skeletons, uh, obviously fossils and things like that that they found over the years, but they did not construct a full dinosaur. Um, they even talk, let's get off the uh, dinosaurs, they even talk about Jesus Christ. They say the pictures that we see now with the long hair, the light skin, doesn't think. Um, isn't the real thing of uh, oh, Jesus? I've got the word for. They said he would look more like not not like a. I'm trying to do a picture, not like a Saddam Hussein, but you get that kind of thing, like a dark hair, uh, dark eyes, uh, more of a Roman nose. And um, bit by bit, you're you questioning what you've been well, talking yes, about. Yes, because people do. I mean, Salvador Dali, Glasgow has got the Salvador Dali painting, Christ of St. John mm. and the Cross. Now, it's an outstanding yeah. painting. If you haven't seen it, you can look yeah. it up. And, uh, and right. poor old Tom Honeyman, the, the head of culture for Glasgow in the 50s, Dr. Mm. Honeyman, he was pilloried for buying this at eight and a half thousand pounds now the thing's wow. priceless absolutely priceless Ooh. he did a deal with dally fantastic wonderful piece of work uh, and, and what have you now let's be, before we jump to jesus from the dinosaurs Ooh. because yeah, yeah. a lot of people are now turning back to god and believe that jesus dwells Ooh. among us in his risen power so you know that's that's what we've got now so rather than that jump while we've got you on pablo because you are something of an expert uh you know uh, what about the um the yeti what about the uh what was the big one the great big horned beast the cattle um, I'm not too sure about that. Yes, I know yes, about yes, you do. You know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The the other one, it's mm. just the names um, jumped out my head. The one like like yeah, a big like a big ox. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, you get um, confused with the big four. It's uh, it's very similar. I know what you mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody will tell us on here, guys. What's the one like the big ox? So there we are. Now, um, what we've got here, here's Elise on, 
Uh, and she says mm -hmm. they've never found an entire skeleton. She agrees with you. And she said mm -hmm. they made them in China. So the Chinese actually manufactured the dinosaur skeletons. Right, I, I didn't know that, but they have got to tell us something exists. Why, why, why do they always look at you like a madman if you say, well, the Loch Ness Monster might, might exist? No, well, no, 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 that was hoaxed in the 90s. It was shown in a well, newspaper. Well, no, you see, very was, often, if you are a specialist like you are and you come out with the truth, rather than people admit that they are ignorant, and I don't mean that in an offensive yeah. way, they are ignorant and yeah. don't understand... Um, you know, they, they, they'd rather put down the person as a crackpot. I mean, all the conspiracy theories about what they're going to do to us, uh, this mob, um, you know, that's all starting to take shape and, and you know, and there is an ah, what I'm going to be. Scotty, but what I, what I think, you might think I'm a bit bonkers here, I'm not going to mention his name, but you know he's very outspoken about conspiracy and this and that. Yes. I think these people get, I think these people get slow drips on what's going to happen. And I think people slow drip on things about UFOs, like they don't discredit him though. They say there's, there's things in the sky, there's, there's uh, military pilots that are spotted on radar, they do not fly like any aircraft we have today. Things like that. Well, so, you see, all these that. people were told to shut up and were dismissed as lunatics. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first thing is somebody's a big truth teller, you start to make out that yeah. they're, they're, they're a crackpot. You know what I mean? Well, the simple thing is, Scotty, if you, if you knew all this, you would be a threat to uh, military, the military, the AMS, anything like that. They would take you out of the game. Uh, as simple as that. You yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't right. understand. I don't understand no, why you're a threat. Can we turn that down? No, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I could just hear the noise in the background. You must have turned yeah, something up. I don't know what that noise is. But what I'm saying. Is if people, like, what I do, I tell you, I'm done that. I don't need people, um, when you say the psychic and you can see through walls, they can project, astral project and all that. I believe that's nonsense because if you can see through walls, you certainly wouldn't be here because you, you can break any, anyone's surveillance, anyone's something like that. I believe people have a sensitivity uh, based on genetics. I think people pick something up that's not in this world and it's in between. And I, I know that for a fact, Scotty. I believe stuff like that exists. And I just think, I just think, going back to the dinosaur, Scotty, I just think it's something that we can sort of believe. It teaches a bit, a bit about how we, well, their example of how we create was created because we couldn't survive while the dinosaurs were here. But it's like, it's like a fairy tale that the adults still believe. Well, the mammoths, that's the one I was trying to remember, the mammoth. The, the great big yeah, did the mammoth it's got, it's got a lot of names it's got something called the skunk ape bigfoot the yeta in different countries some of them actually uh, pray to this thing especially like the more tribal countries they yes. believe it to be something sacred so always believe it to be something evil well the North American native Indians you see pray to the buffalo as far as I understand and thank the buffalo mm. before they eat them so the buffalo is not then dying in a very stressed yeah. way mm -hmm. do you see what I mean well, yeah, uh, yeah. a bit like, a bit like Indian, Indian, people in India won't even kill a cow for food they just use it for I think it's supposed to be before we use it for natural resources like gas just through what it uh, eats and poos out they use the gas for that yeah. but talking about the Yeti the Yeti Bigfoot I've mean, watched documentary on documentary Scotty and there's never a, a like, proper conclusive evidence apart from there was one film, I think, early 80s, and it was where a guy was just filming the destination where Bigfoot was, he was sighted, and then out of nowhere, this, this big ape-looking man turns around, looks, looks at him, and then walks up and goes. Now, a lot of people have said they've tried to break that down and say it was a hoax. But we can't find that it to be like a human in a costume and things like that. But then, from that side, some people have come, like, you know, sort of grasped them up and said they, they made this, this thing. And 
they, they had like a shoe print and they showed how they made the shoe print. It was basically like on a sandal, that was a big sandal, and it had two like two hooks or something, you know, like for the